Welcome back to the Channel Boss KO Music Plug Media Child Hip Hop Reaction Channel, man. Thank you for tapping in with us, man. Uh, enjoy this reaction that we got coming right now. We ain't gonna hold too much of your time up. Hit that like and subscribe button, man, so it can help with the algorithm, so we can get it out there, and you know more people can get in tune with our videos. Hit that like and subscribe button right now. Enjoy the content. Okay. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We were talking about Basquiat. And the ad right. Because of Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. Everyone is aware that 50 Cent and Jay-Z have been at odds for quite some time. But it appears that 50 has revealed some fresh details that Jay may not appreciate. According to these findings, Jay-Z may have been lying to us about his sexuality all along. And his successful marriage to Beyonce may have been a hoax. Hold on because things are about to get explosive. 50 and Jay-Z have had a long-running feud for decades, but tensions have recently escalated. Fifth recently indicated on Big Boy Neighborhood that Jay-Z's admiration for gay painter Basquiat extends beyond the superficial level. The rapper hinted that Jay was smitten with the artist, which might be seen as an indicator of his sexual orientation. The image itself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. Individuals reacted differently to 50 statements, many of which were mixed. Some of them are right next to 50, such as this person who wrote, I believe 50 when he talks when they named Jay one of the best rappers of all time. I knew he was on the DL because it just ain't no way for real. Some, on the other hand, do not believe these statements and immediately dismiss them. 50 Cent also says Jay-Z is trying to look gay like Basquiat, but his TV series has more gay scenes in TV history. I don't care about record sales, especially when the artist is Caucasian. This is America. Also, rock and country music stations only play Eminem's music. No black rap. Other impartial users also joined in, claiming that the truth will always come to light. What you do in the dark comes to light. And it's getting brighter. During an interview, 50 Cent said that he was initially approached about the Pepsi advertisement. But, due to JC's hostile feelings toward him, the opportunity did not materialize. I got the call. Yo, we back. So, you know, tell me in the comments what you think about this reaction so far, man. Think the video nice, man. I think we post nice videos, nice content for you guys to enjoy, man. Drop some comments below. Let me know what you think about this content, man. You know, uh, appreciate you tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like and subscribe button for us right now. Before the ad went out? Yeah. Right. Because of Jay-Z and them was putting it together. When Big Boy, the host, speculated that Jay-Z's animosity might have been the cause for 50's removal from the advertisement, the rapper suddenly contradicted the claim by giving the facts. L has some issues with me that um, I don't know what those issues are. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, what is the issue? Jay-Z did not appear to want 50 Cent to be part of the advertising from the start. But, nor disclosed on a podcast with Snoopy that Jay-Z did not approve of 50 Cent's participation in the NFL halftime show. Nonetheless, Jay-Z was powerless to intervene since Eminem, a well-known white guy in the rap industry, refused to perform in the absence of 50 Cent. For 50 Cent. Mm. Later on, Nor attempted to clarify the ambiguous phrase by asking, who is the white guy? Jimmy Iovine. And he said, no, Eminem called directly for 50, and he said I can't do it if I can't bring 50 with me. The fans value the love and camaraderie that Eminem and 50 Cent have developed over the course of their careers. That was beautiful of him because that is his guy, and you're supposed to pull your mellow up with you when things are big or otherwise. 50 would have done the same by M. Nonetheless, 50 Cent decided to discuss it on social media, writing, Why did he say the white boy? Why didn't he say the biggest rap artist in the world? Eminem and 50 Cent appear to have maintained their friendship. Furthermore, 50 Cent's assertions have some weight because Jay-Z has never hidden his adoration for the late American homosexual artist Jean Mitchell Basquiat. Beyonce even gave him a $35 million painting for his 53rd birthday since Basquiat's artwork revealed different societal issues and is highly sought for, with some pieces costing over $100 million. Beyonce has issued the following statement in response to her husband's recent revelation of bisexuality. I think people are so brainwashed. You get up in the morning, you click on the computer, you see all these pictures and... As is clear, Beyonce has categorically denied that her husband is bisexual. Yet, this is not the first time 50 Cent has revealed a celebrity's secret sexuality. Remember the contentious photos he released on social media years ago, implying Diddy was in a gay relationship with Rick Ross. He wrote in the post, I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right. The photos are highly suggestive, suggesting an intimate relationship between the two celebrities. Many are certain that Diddy is hiding his sexuality, with one even citing his cryptic lyrics as proof. 
I don't how Diddy can beat the gay allegations after that line you was more than my girl. We were like brothers. All night, we would play fight undercover cause what? Another added, Diddy is actually gay though and apparently F's a lot and isn't out yet, so this picture isn't like the others. I definitely believe Diddy loves male hugs not related to brotherhood. He bit his bottom lip. However, after reconsidering the matter, 50 Cent reversed his accusations and erased the post. There was also discussion over Diddy's apparent lack of response to the accusations about his sexuality. Diddy is definitely gay, LMFAO I on no, no grown straight man that's not gonna address a gay rumor that's been circulating for years. As Diddy applauded Lil Nas for his performance at the BET Awards, which the young rapper closed with a passionate kiss, rumors regarding his sexuality reached new heights. Diddy posted on Twitter, Lil Nas X did that, be fearless, the public seemed to be on 50's side in this one as well. Someone said on Twitter, Diddy is, we've known that. There's a video of him when he gets to Rick Ross's house and judge for yourself, to each his own. And this one with Usher any slips and says Usher looking like why you saying all that for? Another person mentioned Vanity Fair's cover, which featured the rapper's new name Love, stating that all the dots have finally connected. It all makes sense after seeing this cover. Lil Nas X did that. Be fearless, Diddy. The former Puffy appears to be preparing to come out as gay. If that isn't enough, Diddy's own lyrics in his song Blood Orange are sure to persuade you. He says in the song, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved, but that I know how I really want to be loved, but I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that. You know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. These lyrics, in my opinion, are problematic. Yet, the public has expressed strong support for his prospective public disclosure. Diddy, you will find the strength to be loved and love who you want. It doesn't Yo, matter. Back. Another commercial break while we're going through this reaction, man. Uh, you know, while we at it, man, make sure you go like the whole video on the reaction that we did. Make sure you, you know, follow up with that creator. Make sure you stay posted to our notifications. Also, hit that subscribe button, man. We appreciate you tapping in with us, man. Uh, you know, watch the video all the way through. Let us know if you like these videos. If we could bring more ideas, let us know some of the YouTubers you would like for us to cover. And we'll cover them on our platform. Appreciate you tapping into the platform. Like I say, hit the like and subscribe button. Man. More Ooh, videos his hard hit home is someone who was closeted for the majority of my life so far, and while that may not be what he's getting at, it makes perfect sense. Good luck to him. We must also recall Diddy's questionable behavior at a party with Fabulous. Mr. Lee, yeah, I love this drink. Well, you put my bag you. Bag I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, you put my bag Daddy, I like when you oh, when you're right scrambling here, right and scraping. No, no, no. There is video evidence of Diddy drunkenly addressing Fabulous as Daddy, although Diddy has since denied ever attending a party with Fabulous. In a subsequent interview, the founder of Bad Boy Records stated that he had never actually mingled with Fabulous. Fab responded by saying, We partied for my birthday before. You came to my party. Fab later revealed during an interview with The Breakfast Club, he said something to me a long time ago at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what'd you just say? Let me move, man, before I do something. You gone make me mess up the wedding. No, that's something a guy says to a girl. In a leaked conversation with Kevin Hart, Diddy indirectly admitted to sleeping with Usher. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause. Surprisingly, Diddy was also intoxicated on this occasion. While Diddy is under the influence, he appears to become quite talkative. Fans claim that Fantastic turned down Diddy's attempts since he was well aware of Diddy's proclivities when Puff wonders why Fabulous has never...